Previously on. Now it knows exactly where to find him. She's stolen. Told you, Rogue's still scared of the asshole. Stop it, Johnny. I would be too if I saw my friend being smashed by like Adam Smasher. On the ship. Smasher, fuck! You don't get it. This isn't about Smasher. He's just it? the goddamn tip of the iceberg. So what is Even it? if we get him, what does that get us? So that's how it is. Nothing here at all. What did you expect? Headstone, flag, and flowers? No. I... I don't know. A marker. Something. Anything. I'm in this neighborhood right now since I decided to tackle a couple of cyber psycho side quests. So the first one led me over to this area here and I don't know what I'm expecting. If anything, I don't even know if whoever I'm seeing could be so dangerous that I might end up dying a couple times. But I got this katana here and this bad boy here gives off a lot of damage. And when I say a lot of damage, I'm talking about... I'm talking about a good 614 damage. So I hope he tries something with me. Because with a lot of my blade perks that I've activated, I'm in the mood to do a couple of quick slices. Great. And there's one right now. Oh god. Nah, this... Mm. Hey, buddy. Okay. Oh, that's not my enemy. That's my enemy. Oh. Okay. Alright, let me see. Can I do something? Alright, let me see if I can reach here. This... <laughs> I gotta admit, I, um... I got a little cocky. And now, I'm gonna suffer for it, huh? Uh, Alright. Hopefully this gun will do the trick. Ooh. Come on! Cut it out! Ooh, he is really kicking my ass. Ooh, ooh, ooh my goodness. Alright, I need a couple more hits with my med pack here. Damn it! I only hit him... I only took a good couple of hits at him, too. That's the crazy part. Ooh, thank god this, this beam here is in the middle. Because I would have been toasted. There's no way I can slice him with my katana. Oh hell no! Oh hell no! No 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 no! Chill, 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 chill. How did he run up at me so fast? Like that's bullshit. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh come on! Open, open, please! Oh my god! I am so stressed out right now. Oh, oh lord, oh lord, have mercy. I need help. Ooh, I felt that. I really felt that in the heavy. Oh my god. Ooh, ooh. I feel like after this, I'm gonna need a few more health bags because this shit is insane. So this is what I'm about to be dealing with. My god. Alright, so let me search the area to collect some information here. 
Oh, okay. A merc. Huh. Looks like there is a couple of casualties, which sucks. I guess they're after him? I'm, I'm not sure. Corp though? Why would a corp be over here? I mean, I'll take the money, but nonetheless. Read the shard, it doesn't look good. Alright, I can definitely do a quick read here. Uh, let me see. If I could find it. Hold on, what am I doing? Shards, right? Damn, I have so many shards here. Let me see if I'm able to find it. Doesn't look good. Okay. I gotta say, that Mari of yours sure has a head on her shoulders. She got you here at the last possible moment. Your body's rejecting the implants, and no wonder. It's not ready for them. They're military grade, you can't use them without the proper training. Christ, they're not for civilian use at all. I can give you a script for painkillers, but don't forget, the pain is your body's way of warning you. If you ignore it and keep using that chrome, you could cause permanent damage to your spine. You might be able to take off that exoskeleton now, but if you break your spine, you'll never move on your own again. Wow, that's messed up. So, he bought some military tech that not only is his body not able to handle, but... Let me see what I can find from here. And this is from Tom. Let me be plain. You've been in this biz long enough to know it's a rough way to make a living. This job should toughen you up, but instead, you keep coming to me looking for a shoulder to sob on. Now, most companies just swap out their workers when they get tired, but not me. Here, I try to show you some compassion. I even rounded up some gear for all of you at a decent price, and what do I get in return? I'm grateful you won't like you, just think about yourselves. Your own comfort, company is damned. But thanks to me, you got decent implants and a low rate loan to cover them. And I did it for you, out of the kindness of my heart. So you didn't have to waste your time going from bank to bank, filling out forms you can't even read. Damn, this guy is a manipulating dick. But do I get so much as a thank you? Never. And you know, if it weren't for Mary and Char- Sorry, Charlotte. Sorry. Charlie. Can I guys say Charlotte? <laughs> if it wasn't for Mary and Charlie, I would have kicked you out on your ass a long time ago. So try thinking about them for once and get back to work instead of crying to me. This is construction for crying out loud. This is no place for sissies and crybabies. But hey, if you think otherwise, you can go ahead and pack your shit up. And don't dare show your face here again. I mean, show it once and once, and come back to pay your installment. Plus, extra to cover that employee discount if you won't be enjoying no more. And then this is from Sendai again. Already told you I don't give a shit about no warnings or restrictions or special terms of use. And you both know you're not about to give me a warranty on this shit, so don't make me pay out my ass for nothing. Save the scope and let's be good. Don't matter if the, they're salvaged from old military bases or fished out of some back of the rub, ripper's dumpster. Shit, could dig them up out of an Indian burrow ground for all I care, as long as they work. Damn, this guy is nasty and disrespectful. Hydraulics should be able to handle two metric tons, nothing else matters. My people will buy whatever I sell them, so just get your people to give me what I order. Hey Chum, today's your, lucky, today's your unlucky day. You're probably wondering who I am. I'm a voodoo boy. You've probably heard of us. Remember last time you hit the net? Yeah, me too. I hack your cup processor and it's a little surprise for you. Now you do what I say, or your head goes boom. I think a thousand is fair pay to keep your head if you say. 
I install my surprise. If not, I blow up your head. But blow up the head of person you love the most first. And if you tell NCPD, I blow up your head once. You have two days to pay, and I know you need this code I install spy cams to your optics. We do it together. This is not a negotiation channel. You now reply. You pay, you go away. Wow. That is insane. So not only is he dealing with blackmail, but also a failed modification as well. I got Texas. Managed to take the psycho, the cypher cycle alive, though he sure put up a fight, sending you the deets. Very glad you got him alive. Poor guy almost completely spiraled out before he even realized what was happening. My, my, now that's some creative management. It seems this developer has no problem in creating a wide range of business needs and solutions. I'm sure his long-standing connections with weapons dealers, the NCPD, and other shady souls help enormously. And if a certain need isn't great enough, well, there's always the usual solutions of arm twisting and kneecapping. The key to success remains flexibility, especially of the moral sort. Guess even feudomatic arms can lift morale in a toxic workplace. Hmm, that's funny. Alright, that is one cyber cycle down. And I guess I'll be on my way to the next one. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I saw Judy texting me. Let me see what's going on here. Can I? No. I guess I have to go out to use my phone. Yeah, but whatever. Oh, I didn't mean to call her. I don't think she's gonna answer my phone either. Okay, sorry. Let me text her. That's what I was trying to do. Let's see what Judy wants. Huh. Hey. Buried Eve today. Columbarium near North Oak. Thought you might want to know. Thanks for letting me know. Right? No problem. Take care. I still can't get over the fact that you just dead. Jefferson? Listen, I need your help again. Matters private. Sure, okay. What's it about? Not on the hollow. Come by. I'll lay it out. Explain everything. Got your back, Jefferson, not to worry. Great. We'll see you here then. Remember where? Of course. Be there in no time. Damn, if Jefferson is calling me again, it seems like something else happened, which is not a good sign. Okay, so I am on the pier here, since this is another cyber, cyber psycho sighting that I am on again. Rodney. Whoa. to take you. Oops. Alright, so she was tortured to death several days ago, so she is dead, and that sucks. Question is, where is 
Cyber Psycho. Shot in the head from military grade rifle. Oh my god, we got a sniper. Yep, another shot in the head. Another shot in the head. Another one. Oh my god, just a civilian. And she was caught in the line of fire. Damn it! Are you kidding me, bro? Oh god, this is not what I want. At this point, I'm gonna need a lot more med kits to deal with this. Another body? Oh my god. A rifle attack. What's this one? Shooting victim. I mean, I'm not really gonna need any more ammo, so... Alright, this place is getting a little too quiet for me. Where are you? Damn, more people? What, were they trying to defend themselves? Damn it. Hostile area. Okay, so he's around here somewhere. Or she, whoever it is. This is not good at all. He's gone psycho! Okay, there's one survivor. Okay, let me see if I'm able to. Damn it, it's gonna be hard. Oh, nice. Okay. I'm not able to do any hacking, huh? Oh, he dumped fast. He dumped fast. This is not good. He dumped fast. Okay, that one had shot. Not bad. Oh! Oh! Oh no, he too shot. This is not. Oh! Shit! Oh shit. Let me run. Let me run. This is not cool. Okay. Okay. Okay, stop that. You think you're hot because you're a speed gun guy. Not in my face. Ooh, 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 ooh. Let me run. Oh shit. This is. Such anxiety right here. Where is he? Oh, ah! There you go. There you go. There you go. No, we're not. We're not. Hold still. You know what? Nah. You piss me off. Ha! You thought you could dodge me now, huh? Whew. Nice. I'm pretty happy. And that's a nice gun, so I'm gonna take that. And, uh, probably be able to sell a lot of these, honestly, so. Alright, so read the shard titled Arch Conversation. My goodness, okay. Another one, I guess. Not here. Not there. Nope. I'm just closing all of these here to make it easy for me to... Ah! Okay, so this is the conversations between Harry and Jeremy, so here it goes. Sup, Joom? Let's swap shifts for sat Saturday. Bro, we ain't swapping shit. Damn, so hostile. Come on, I'm begging you. Forget it, man. Sat is always a fucking train wreck. FFS, Joom. My kid ran away from home. So go look for him. Maybe you'll find him before Sat. I know where he is. Gotta go to my parents on Sat to borrow money to pay off the scavs. 
Those psychos grind him up into scope if I don't pay. I'm on my fucking knees, dude. Fine. Okay. Oh, wait, wait. I think I read the... Oh, I, I read the wrong one. I need to read the one that's Ken and Diego, so... Damn. Okay, hold on, hold on. <laughs> hold on. <laughs> I would be the one to read something else. Uh... Ah, found it. Alright, this is between Ken and Diego. We want a truce, understand? I want my daughter, and I'll get her with or without a truce. We made a mistake. We want to give her back. Damn right you did. When and where? Pier and Pacifica. We leave the girl and we go our separate ways. I'll be there in 20. Don't make me look for you. Wow. So that's why everyone was here? For you. Okay, civili civilian. Am I... What am I looking for exactly? Oh, right here. Corpse? Huh. Yeah, I see all these civilians. And it's like... Crazy stuff here. So that's why there was a whole bunch of people in this area because of the fact they were meeting here because this guy just wanted his daughter back. And now I killed him. Yeah. Could be worse, I guess, right? Is there anything else I can find that's any clues I need to know? Oh! Huh. Okay, so this is another conversation between Ken and Heidi Yoshi. Motherfucker already killed 20 of ours. What's taking so long? He's hunting us, binding his time. Two, three businesses down the drain because of you. Can't even see him. He's holed up like a rat, waiting for the perfect moment. She's just right. She's perfect. You'll see. My fucking ass. What are you waiting for? Draw him out. You head, you leadheads, use her as bait. Understood, boss. We'll set a trap of daughter and this fucker once and for all. It's not about the daughter anymore. It's about revenge. Remind him the girl's all that matters, you dumb sacks of shit. When he pokes his ugly head out, We'll na nail him between the eyes. At least he's using his head, unlike you. Damn, that's a burn. Yesterday, I heard the grass rustle in the wind and thought he was coming to burn down my house. I can't live like this. I mean, you should have never took his daughter, but whatever, I guess. All right, let me text Regina. Cause this one is pretty crazy. He's outfitted in full military gear, so he could be a vet suffering from PTSD. But why the getup? Maybe he felt the cyberpsychosis coming on and wanted to look the part? Something doesn't add up. Couldn't get close to him. Put up a hell of a fight. Left me no choice. Had to zero him. Glad you made it out in one piece. Our guy put up a hell of a fight, so there was nothing left to do but defend yourself. Tigers took a liking to the girl and decided to turn her into a doll. <gasps> Big mistake. Little did they know her daddy was ex-special forces. Wasted no time in hunting their sorry hides down. Only option they had left was to lure him into a trap. Bigger mistake. Don't, uh, don't underestimate an ex-commando who wants his daughter back. He hunted every last tiger as easily as if he was a, on a goddamn safari. Gangsters picked the wrong tomb to fuck with. That is messed up how... Wow. Alright, so let me see if I can find another mission to do. Okay, I am here. 
and it looks like a car accident has to taken place. I'm not surprised, but whatever. Another cyber cyber psycho attack, I guess. Don't ask me to say that twice. Uh, don't ask me to say that fast, cause that's hard. Okay, another conversation between Saul Bright and em Emilia West. Lost our transport of parts for the new research center. Went missing on Aldecado turf. Our, meaning whose. Meaning biotechnicas, but I'm making some private inquiries at the moment. We work on the same turf, but that doesn't mean we have to step on each other's toes. Not our problem, you're in the Badlands, and out here you stand to run into all sorts of gangs and threats. Maybe you should have chosen a quieter location for that new center. The nature of the research demands discretion. We need it. We need it done out of the way as far out of the city as possible. If we were to hire someone to track down our cargo, how much would a job like that set us back? Well, considering the apparent value of the cargo, the price would be high. In Euro dollars, please, and with a deadline. Like I said, the price would be high, and not just in Euro dollars. We can get those with any contract out here. So what's your ask? Reverse transpiration zero fights? But they're not ready for the market yet. We'll put them on the market. A prototype series, that is. Unless you're in no hurry. All right, a small prototype batch, but I can't guarantee they'll grow. They're still in the testing phase. They haven't even been planted outside of lab conditions. And what sort of deadline can I count on? Can I count on for the recovery of our cargo? Or start looking once those first buds bloom. Shouldn't be too long after. Interesting. Saul, avocados. I should ask Pam to see. What's up with that? Then again, this could have been hallowed. Huh. Ew. Internal organ implants? I'm good. Not interested at all. Oh, this sucks because this person or thing or whatever could be out anywhere. Oh, look at that. I guess they're not too far. So, following the blood trail as I go, I guess. Yep, more blood. Blood type B negative. Huh, interesting. I kind of hope this person bled out to death because I don't want to deal with another fight. Especially from another cyber psycho. See, I got it right, finally. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Damn. This is a lot of blood that this person is losing. And I see smoke over there, so I assume that is our guy. Okay, let me see here. I could have sworn I heard footsteps, I'm not sure. I hear smashing, so... Confirmation that this person is not dead. Oh, come on! You gotta be kidding me! Oh, really? Damn you, man. Oh, you gotta be- Ow! Ow! Oh my god. Okay, 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 okay. Fuck that shit. I'm gonna go and use this. It works. Wish me luck. Oh, wow, amazing! Like, oh, oh, no, 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 no! Come on! Oh, damn it! I, I died. I died. Ah, uh, fine. I guess I'll try again. 
Oh, oh, I do not want to ruin this car. Holy cow. All right, so I already did all this, right? Read, blah, blah, I'm not doing it again. So here's my plan. I am going to go and shoot him a couple times. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? Why? Anyways, I'm going to shoot him a couple times with his nice little gun of mine. Gun. Gun. Thank you. And as soon as he gets close, that's when I'm going to go and pull out my katana. Because did you see how I wiped off half of his health just like that? Como si na? That shit's awesome. I'll just, uh, be right here. Did he just... He does say I'll just be right there. Ooh, okay. Ah! Ooh, what an asshole. How, how did he... How did he know I was here? <laughs> Come on, bro. This is not good. Alright, alright, I got this. Oh! There you go! There you go! Oh! Oh! Oh my god. This is not... This is not the vibe oh. Alright, jerk. Stop chasing me! Oh my god! He's dead uh. chasing me! Oh! My god. I don't want to be in here. I'm scared! Oh my god. Oh! Ow! Oh! Oh my god. Alright, good news is, um, most of his health is gone, and I'm happy about that. Is he gonna explode? No? Okay. Pop up! There you go. Oh, oh, I hate when he shoots me. This shit is not good. Right? I'm surprised I'm not even dead. In real life, I would have been totally dead. Oh, 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 thank god he's down. Uh, I'll take that. Oh, I'll take that. I'll take that. And I'll read this one. This shit is pointless. We won't get anything out of him. And the stench of all that blood is making me want to puke. Well, let's make some use of him while he's still breathing. We'll go for a ride. He'll help us with the gear out there. I heard the Aldicados can find water, even the deep reservoirs. Like a living, breathing, dowsing rod, you know? I mean, that's what they say, but we could test it for real. So, we tie him to the front of the car so he can show us where to dig? Well, he'll be doing the digging so he doesn't put any smart moves. Sounds like a plan. Grab the gunk and let's go. That's sad. That is really sad. Alright, Regina. I guess this is... You were almost right. Turns out it was a prisoner who went psych burst psycho and managed to escape. Coincidentally, just happened to be on out the cuddle buddy of a prisoner I rescued from the same outfit. Had no choice, took him out the hard way. Well, that was unexpected. I'll relay this info to Dakota. Aldecados will definitely want to know what happened to one of their brothers. Salt so was too valuable as a pawn, so it looks like they tried to beat as much useful intel out of this poor gunk and make Saul watch, hoping that he'll crack. Eventually, they took him for one of their rides through the desert, and that's when things got out of hand. He probably mistook you for one of them. I'll spare Dakota the sad news it was you flatlined him. Makes no difference now anyway. Better for them to think he went down fighting. Damn. Well, rest in peace, man. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next time.